the European Championship has come to Ireland and for the first time two Irishmen are going hell for leather for it great punching great skill from both men Dave this is a cracker yeah first class look you can see the quality of the punches here they're in close they're, they're, they're fighting and they're giving their all but Hayden's a boxer, so what he wants to do, if I was in his corner right now, I'd be saying, listen, get on your bike, box and move, throw the hard pointers, put power behind, but box and move, because when you get in close, you're sitting Willie Casey. This is, this, is, this is what he wants. He wants you in there. He wants you just to, to entice you into to, to the lion's den, and that's what Hayden's doing right now. He's doing well right now, but he could do things a wee bit better and a wee bit easier for himself if he was to get on his bike and box. Round three. First tall Casey in the black trunks and wearing the, the blue and very dark navy, the Dublin colours, Paulie Highland. And I check with the man himself if Paulie's right and Paulie it is. His uncle is Paul, so it makes it easier for the family of women is Paul and woman is Paulie. So it's not being too familiar with him, Colin Pauly. Just to clear that up. Stop boxing! Stop boxing! The thing that's uh, astonishing, and Dave by McCauley oh. has took notice of it, is that Billy Casey is tonight only in his 11th fight. And in fact, this round he's boxing now is only the 47th round of his professional career. And yet, look at it. Look at the way he's set up his stance. His posture and his punching, it's hard to believe. Yeah, he's, he's a true pro in, in every sense of the world. But uh, what Hayden wants to do here, but if I was, uh, uh, I said this, what Hayden wants to do, you have to forget about the crowd. You have to do what you do best, and that's box. And what he's not doing is right now, Hayden, is letting that left hook go to the body as often as what he should be, because he's not doing his normal thing, which is on his bike and move out, take his shots, move in, move out and away, and let that left hook go to the body, because that's the one that creates a lot of damage and wears your opponent down. But what he's doing is right now, he's fighting the fight that Casey wants, because Casey doesn't have to go looking for him, because he's right there in front of him. Yes. He doesn't have to look for him at all. There's that left hand going into the body again from Ireland. It's probably his best punch. And his defence is good, Toby. He's that last four or five punches that Casey has thrown. Every one of them was taken on the arms and under gloves by Tyler. But the last one got through. And listen to the crowd. Here in this magnificent arena. They're going potty for Big Bang. Inside the last minute of the third. You see, what Hayden should be doing right now is to be on that bike and boxing, get that jab going, let the right hands go, the left hook go, you know, because this is what he has to do. You know, like, he's there in the ropes, and, and, and to, in, my, in my eyes, this is all to please the crowd. You want to forget about the crowd, but then put the crowd behind you and do what you do best at this. Normally, when you see Paulie Hennett, he's boxing, he's on his toes, jabs out, left hooks go to the body, and the head. I haven't seen a big lot of that from the, from, from the start of this fight, because he wants to fight, he wants to get involved in this brawl. He wants to show that he can fight just as Casey can, but at least Casey's boxing the fight tonight, and a very good third round, and Casey's round. He's so confident now, he's just blowing a kiss to somebody in the audience, to whom? How do I know? because there must be, oh, there's 500 people here. See, obviously supporting Big Bang. Great stuff here for both fighters again, but Hayden gets caught when he's inside, and if he did what he, what he does best, as I've been saying, is box. But you can box and fight, you just don't have to be on, on your bike all the time. The good stiff jabs, good solid one-two, bang the left hook to the body, and then move. Don't stay there and admire the work that you've just done. Get on your bike and do a move. All the time. Busy on this, busy on this. And Ryan also there in the corner with Polly Highland. Phil Sutter for Willie Casey. Round four. Round four, scheduled for 12. One quarter way gone. And 
Sidley in a very wide stance at the top of this round. I'll tell you what uh, Hayden's doing very, very, which is very dangerous. See that left hand? That left hand's down in where his, look where his waistband is. And uh, if, if, if Casey gets that right hook off and it goes, goes according to plan, if that lands, it'll do a bit of damage because Hayden's hand is right down level with his waistband, which is, which is in the wrong place entirely. Cooler started this round though by Paulie Harlan. See, this is what Hayden should be doing, in and out, move, box and move. Like, you don't have to be on the retreat all the time. Go forward, throw two or three punches, then move away. But he's doing that a wee bit more now, and he's moving a wee bit more now, but he's been a wee bit negative in this round. He's not doing the same punches. Once he gets him, go, move, get out of the way. When he stands, he gets tagged, like, like what's happening right now. I know the, the punches aren't landing on the turret, but still, you have, it makes you think and it wears you down. does do and that's box and move he's just staying here and he's getting tight and he's getting broken down here because those are pretty powerful punches going in there from Casey and what they'll do is they'll wear Hayden down they'll, they'll obviously take their toll on Casey also and the referee intervenes and Willie Casey big bang Willie has done it Holly Highland took this fight at a fortnight's notice, and it was supposed to be Kiko Martinez boxing for this title. Fantastic, incredible atmosphere. Casey went at it. Unbelievable percentage of punches from Casey. And I'll tell you something. He's standing in that ring just above me now. I hope his foot, his footwork is good and he doesn't fall on top of me. Big Bang has done it, and I'll tell you one thing here. You could measure the atmosphere on the Richter scale in Limerick. Willie Casey is the champion of Europe. Hard to believe. It's his 11th professional fight, and not alone in the year of 2010. Has he become the champion of Europe? He also won at the famous York Hall in Bedford Green. He won the prize fighter. It's a disappointed, unhappy Paulie Highland. But it was like a storm that has been forecast by the weatherman has come a night early to Ireland, certainly to Limerick. And the storm, I think it's called Thomas now, that storm across the Atlantic, but you could call it Big Bang Willie instead because that was a storm in round four. Thank good on. Ladies and gentlemen, after two minutes and nine seconds of the fourth round, the referee has stopped the contest in the interest of Paul Highland's own safety. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner and the new European Super Bantamweight Champion, Willie Big Bang Casey! Here, Kiko Martinez. He was introduced earlier on. I don't think Kiko will fancy an evening in the company of Big Bang Willie in the ring. Now Adrian Eames has found his way into the ring without gloves, and here he is with a new European champion. Thanks very much, Jimmy. European champion, Willie, how does that sound? Oh, it sounds amazing. Who knew after, after two years only in the pro game 
after coming back from winning Pride Fair, we'd, we'd make European champion, like, you know? It's excellent. And it's all the hard work that we put in from my coaches, it's all been promotions. And my strength and conditioning coach, Joe Clifford, we made a great team and we're, all, we're in it hard to win now. There's no, there's no backing out now. Only two years of pro, as you say. What took you so long? Yeah. I was taking handy, like, you know, I wasn't sure if I wanted to do it or not. <laughs> no, it's amazing, it's amazing. This is the, the, what I want to show my family why I've been away for the last eight weeks training. And you can see how proud they are, and my father here as well, to wish me look good, and my mother as well, of course, and my son as well. And, uh, and for all my coaches, and for Joe and Bonnie Clifford, who let me stay in the house, yes. I, had, I had to stay there. <laughs> He's looking, you know, you have to. Oh, but everything, everything went well. We knew, we knew exactly what Paul he was going to do. We knew that he was going to trade with us. We, we had a feeling that he was going to stand with us. And we, we said that we'll, if, if he stands with us, we're all in good. Like, you know, we knew Paulie's plan. He was going to try and outbox me then after four or five rounds. But, uh, but it was a cracking fight. Absolutely amazing to watch. Yeah, uh, it was excellent. I mean, for the fella that had all that skill and technique, like to stand in the ring with me, knowing that I was a banger and that I could have hurt him any time, and he still stuck in the middle of the ring to prove a point that I wasn't going to push him over. And I suppose at the end it was a little bit too much, but all my respect to Paulie, like you've seen what happened, Bonner Dunn. Bonner yeah, Dunn came back. Yeah, yeah. Bonner Dunn came back and won a world title after getting beaten by Little Tyson over here, as they call him. <laughs> <laughs> and he went down and won a world title. And there's no reason why Polly can't do it either, because he has the skill and the technical ability to do it. Well, now you're going to have to defend this title against uh, Little Tyson, as you call him, Kiko Martinez. Uh, everybody's wondering when's that fight going to happen? Yeah, I, I suppose it could be six months. Brian Peterson is the man running the show. Could be five, six months. But in the meantime, my own team, Dolphin Promotion, are running two shows, one in the 10th of December in the basketball arena, and one, and one in January, and we're going to talk now to see if I'm going to go on the two of them or the one of them. And that will give me another little bit of few rounds, a bit of experience to meet this man here then there after that. Uh, Kiko, how impressed were you by Willie Big Bang Casey? Me pareció una, una buena pelea. It seemed to be a good fight. Le di la enhorabuena por ganar. And he congratulates you for winning, but Paul Highland fought the wrong fight. He, sido, did, he fought your fight. Ha sido muy fuerte. You, you were very strong. Does that mean Bonner fought the wrong fight as well? <laughs> yeah. Que si Bennett Dandy se peleó la pelea que tú querías. <laughs> dile, dile, dile lo ¿Cómo, que cómo? te decías tú del, del cinturón. Ah, la enhorabuena a todo y que el, se lo he prestado hasta el 5 de febrero. He said um, it was a good fight, ya. but he's a real champion and he's, you've only borrowed the belt till February or March whenever you fight him. Y luego me lo tendrá, me luego me lo tendrá que devolver. And then you'll have to give it back to him. I'm very grateful that he gave up the belt to myself and Polly for the first two Irish fellas ever to fight for the belt. But as long as I have this belt, no one is taking it off me. Well, there you have it. That belt is going to South Hill. Phil Sutcliffe, what a performance. Fantastic performance. Everything that we expected. I know Polly, who was, who was an excellent European Union champion, an excellent Irish champion. We know his skill, but we knew how to handle him. Right? And when you have the power that Willie Casey has, and now he's proved that he could box when he beat Emilio Salvini in, the, in, uh, in Tala, right, or in City West, sorry. And now he's got to prove he can box and fight and punch with the best. Because in fairness to Pauly, he is one of the best. And I know Willie will, it, will say the same, right? So we have to say, what we have to say is, right, part of the show on the 10th of December in the basketball arena, what we have to say is, Kiko, you want to be right, because we're coming to get you. Yeah. Well done, Willie Big Bang Casey.